Welcome to the Open Photo Project, the podcast. The Open Photo Project uses photography, audio, and text to present the beautiful, complex lives of consensually non monogamous people. On this podcast, you will hear the words of people who are in many kinds of relationships under the umbrella of consensual non monogamy from polyamory, relationship anarchy, open relationships, solo poly, and more. I'm Erica Capin. I have been photographing and interviewing people for the Open Photo Project since 2015. If you would like to see the photos of people who are in these interviews, you can find them on the openphotoproject.com or all across social media. Many of these interviews were recorded on location, so if you hear a creak or children or a noisy cafe in the background, I hope you can enjoy the ambiance as well as the words and ideas. And please consider supporting this project on Patreon. Becoming a monthly supporter at any level means that you will have access to the full interview downloads, rather than these question excerpts. If you would like to become a supporter, just go to patreon.com. Thank you for listening to The Open Photo Project. Um, The other thing I was going to ask is, like, and I know it's not an identity thing, so if this question doesn't feel answerable feel free to uh, skip it okay but like what are, what are some of your favorite things or happy things about this kind of relationship structures or what are some hard things okay I can do that okay. um I mean it's nice to have so oh I remember what I was going to say oh, and great. it ties into this a little okay. so honestly one of the reasons that in the past uh, being in a non being in non-monogamous relationships has been helpful is because I I was, it was like kind of a mm, I have like kind of a weird connection with my own sexuality and it can be really complicated and sometimes um, sort of impossible to interact with, you know, and so I will be like, ah for a while I just need to not do anything sex you know like that's like sort of off the table and to my brain at the time this is not actually a good way to think about it but I was like but it's fine because you Mm. can like see other partners and things I'm not like depriving you of something important by being like cool I need to just like check out for several months you know or whatever the thing might be yeah and so I was seeing it as almost utilitarian during that time I was like no this is great (laughs) because then I don't have the pressure on me to like fulfill all of your needs whatever yeah and so like as much as that is a busted thought process it's not coming out of nowhere Mm -hmm. and so as far as like things that are helpful things that are hard um I think it's one like it's nice to have many folks' strengths all working together on like shared goals which you can do with or without like a romantic or sexual relationship you know it's it is as important for me to be able to do stuff with Rue as it is to do stuff with Andy or Ida and I you know, my relationship with Rue is platonic, but, like, really important. Uh-huh. And we're still, you know, we still have, like, to work out bits of our communication and stuff. But yeah, yeah. I think it's great to have a group of people who are really dedicated to working together on, like, projects and things like that. It's nice to say, you know, if my phone is busted and I can't figure out what's wrong with it, maybe <laughs> Rue can take a look at it, you know, or, like, if... You know, I have been working in the field all day, but Andy and Rue are both at the house. Like, probably one of them will have cooked by the time I get home, and, like, that's really nice, you know? Yeah, big, like, support, kind right. of just like a family. It's a fa- exactly. Yeah. The thing that I wanted was a family, and I didn't want to get married or have children. <laughs> <laughs> and it turns out you can still have a family, even if you're not getting married and having children. Yeah. Um, so, I like, I like those things. Um, the things that are hard are usually communication based and also usually it's because someone has some kind of, is having like a bad reaction to something like a, like there's a lot of trauma in the group, you know, there's a lot of like, everyone has their own baggage, right? And so usually if there's like a wrench in the gears, it's because like someone in the group is reacting based on something they learned that's like bullshit you know but yeah then you have to sort of step um, back and pause exactly exactly so yeah so more that like, and that would come up with just two people but then with more there's with more, more opportunities. There's exactly more exactly. ways people can bump up against those things yeah 
But then again, when you want to talk about strengths in this kind of relationship, like if I'm in the room and Andy and Rue are getting tangled on something, I can maybe intervene, you know, or if if I'm having a hard time communicating with, you know, Rue, but Ida's there or, you know, whatever, like it's possible that a third person might be like, I'm noticing that something's happening. Would it be helpful if I gave input? Mm. And so even in those ways, like it's, it can be helpful. Totally. I think the hardest part was like all getting on the same page about like what we wanted to do with the house and like we still have a bunch of questions to figure out like how are we going to work on like are we going to the four of us split expenses for things that we're considering like capital improvements you know so like getting the ceiling torn out and fixed is going to be really expensive is it just the three of us paying for that is it the four of us paying for that are yeah. other people who are invested in this house and being able to come here also going to help like what are we going to do so yeah we got these outstanding questions, but... And that's part of probably some of the things you're going to talk about this weekend. Exactly, yeah. yeah. So that's one of the things that we try to have meetings about. It's time-consuming to have this kind of relationship because you have to, like, check in a lot. And it takes a lot of communication, but it's been really worthwhile, I think. Thank you so much. Does that answer your things? Great. Just the right amount of time. Perfect. Thank you for listening to The Open Photo Project.